All right, what's going on? Today's video is going to be a little bit different and I thought I would try something new. Now, typically we do either kind of a board review, we do pharmacology review, we uh, answer questions. Today I wanted to introduce kind of a new idea that I thought might be interesting, especially for those um, clinicians out there who aren't necessarily prepping for board review. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool because I know it's something that I'm interested in in kind of updating as to what's new in medicine. And so I found a couple of topics that I thought might be of interest. So let's try this out today. If you guys like this format, if you guys want more of kind of what's new in medicine, what's emerging, then, you know, please let me know. Please let me know by either liking, leaving a comment or emailing me. And this way I know exactly how to kind of tailor this. So today we're going to be talking about three different topics as to what's new in medicine. Uh, these topics can be found on up to date, and I thought they were interesting, and I thought they'd appeal to a large um, to a large audience here. Now, the f the topics that we're going to be discussing is going to be the management of postpartum hemorrhage. We're going to be talking about a new drug that was uh, recently approved by the FDA for atopic dermatitis, and then finally, we're going to be talking about a new drug that was or a new indication for a medication for the treatment of superficial vein thrombosis. So let's start this off with the postpartum hemorrhage. Now for women with postpartum hemorrhage diagnosed within three hours of delivery, administration with tranexamic acid is going to be recommended. So this is a new recommendation that's been put forth. Now when, it's, when the bleeding has been over three hours or over three hours has elapsed, they still recommend the medication. They still recommend tranexamic acid. However, the benefit is less clear. Less than three hours, for sure, there's more evidence. And the re or the uh, the source for this evidence comes from a randomized trial involving over 20,000 women. And these women had postpartum hemorrhage. These women were given tranexamic acid. And compared with placebo, it reduced the risk of relative death uh, of bleeding by 20 to 30%. It also reduced the incidence of laparotomy to control the bleeding, and it was not associated with any increased adverse effects. Now, the caveat here is that it did not reduce overall mortality. So overall mortality, mortality was not reduced. So this is the uh, treatment of postpartum hemorrhage with tranexamic acid. Now, second update here, um, and I thought, you know, these would be good short quick snippets for those of you on the go. Second one here is going to be regarding short-term anticoagulation with rivaroxaban. Now, short-term anticoagulation is going to be recommended for the treatment of superficial vein thrombosis in patients who are at high risk for venous thromboembolism. Now, in the phase 3B surprise trial, they randomly assigned over 400 patients with superficial vein thrombosis to oral rivaroxaban. Now, and then they also gave them um, fondaparinox. Now, both of these medications are considered to be a direct 10A inhibitor, right? So a direct factor 10A inhibitor, rivaroxaban, and fondaparinox. They were both given, uh, both groups were given the medication and both groups had similar rates of symptomatic venous thromboembolism. Both rates had progression or recurrence of super, uh, super vein thrombosis and all cause mortality at 45 days was reduced as well. So both groups uh, responded very similarly and there weren't any major bleedings in either group. So because of this evidence, it's recommended or it's thought that uh, rivaroxaban appears to be an effective anticoagulant for patients who have superficial vein thrombosis. And the reason why this was important is because fondaparinox is sub-Q. So it's probably gonna be more convenient for the patient and it's definitely gonna be less expensive um, in, uh, you know, to give oral rivaroxaban, which is a factor 10A inhibitor. So that's for the management of superficial vein thrombosis for those patients who are at high risk of developing DVT. And the last medication that I wanna to discuss today is gonna to be dupulumab. Now, dupulumab is what's considered to be an interleukin-4 receptor alpha antagonist, and it was being evaluated as an option for patients who have atopic dermatitis. Now, there were two trials out, um, two 16-week clinical trials, the SOLO1 and SOLO2, and dupulumab was more effective than placebo for improving the signs and symptoms of atopic dermatitis. And because of these two trials, the FDA has recently approved dupulumab for the treatment of adult patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis for those patients who are not adequately controlled with topical prescription therapy. It's considered or appears to be a reasonable option for adult patients who have severe disease, who have failed other systemic therapies as well. So dupulumab is now FDA approved 
for the treatment of atopic dermatitis because of the SOLO1 and SOLO2 trials. So that's it for today. That's kind of what's in the news. That's what I found um, you know, to be interesting that I thought would appeal to a large group of audience to, to you guys here. So if you guys like this, if you guys want more um, of this type of material, if you guys are interested in different um, subjects, let me know. I'd really, really appreciate your feedback. If you are not interested in this, if you prefer much more the, uh, the board review, the farm review, whatever it might be, you know, the goal here is to really help you, the clinician, the student become better. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, as always, you can send me an email at andrew at physicianassistantboards.com. You can always send me a personal DM on my Instagram, A-N-D underscore R-E-I-D, or you can send a DM to the Instagram PA boards, P-A-B-O-A-R-D-S. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you and I'll check you on the next video and or podcast, depending on how you guys are consuming this. Take care. Bye.